Welcome to lesson six. Well, I should say welcome back to lesson six. In this particular lesson, we're going to learn how to use puppet work. It is almost similar to perspective work that we already covered in quick fixes, but this actually is a really cool tool and has a lot of uses when you're trying to finesse a particular actor or image into your uh, layout. So we're going to go to edit. We're going to select perspective, uh, excuse me, puppet work. We already covered perspective work. That, that was the image with the train. We're going to do puppet work. And as soon as we do pop-up work, we see this particular uh, mesh grid appear. In order for us to get this uh, mesh utilized, we're going to pin the part of, of the actor's, actress body down that we do not want to move. We're going to put pins, much like we do in a pin-up board. So anything that is pinned, is going to stay stationary and not move. Notice how I'm putting the pins in. Now, notice the last pin has a blue circle in it. I'm going to go ahead and put, click on the pin I already have to put the circle into that pin. I'm gonna hit the Alt key notice that a circle appears around the pin when I hold down the Alt key. Now I'm going to left click and drag my actress head. So it tilts up, down, left. And see that? See her head tilting? Let's go ahead and put a pin here and see what happens if I tilt it at this angle. Is that cool or what? That is the puppet warp. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit by checking, hitting enter or clicking the check mark. And now we notice that the head has been relocated to a new position.